the truth of the matter is Einstein wasn't bending his back over the fields, picking crops to put food on the table, right? Yeah. Yeah. He, and if he had, he would never, he would never have got like, here, here's an example of, of this exact thing. I, right now we're doing work in the house, right? Right. So I react like every fucking house project is you pay these people to come in and they just fucking do sh stupid shit. Like I look at the stuff they're doing and I'm like, I could fucking do this. Right. <laughs> I could do this, like this, it's not hard. But the problem is the amount of work that it would take me to do it means like I would have to figure out the code, I'd have to get the, like, and then one of the things that's interesting is I can find YouTube videos on the damn thing, but in the YouTube videos, they have all these fucking tools that I don't have, right? So like all of a sudden, like, yes, I could do it. No, it's not hard, but it means that I have to, like, I need the time to be able to actually set aside to do the research. I need the fucking tools, which end up would cost me like $10,000 for the initial investment. <laughs> and so when I compared that, the amount of time that I was going to spend plus the initial investment of the tools, it's cheaper to pay this bloke $2,000 to do the job than, than to fucking have to do it myself for like, you know, eight weeks of work plus $15,000 of tools, right? That's an example of privilege because those guys at the time that I need that work, those guys have had like 15 years of their career plus training plus insights. To, so it's not that their work is better than my work. It's that at the time that the work is valued, they have a way unfair start to that thing. But we're, a lot of them are my age. So if I, but with, with trade, with trades, the society values trades at a lesser rate than it values um you know, Cal Newport's work in the sense that Cal Newport is making millions of dollars on his, on his book deals. Right. And so it's just like one of those things where, um, like that's an example of privilege, right? It's just, it's harder to see with Newport and he, he hasn't actually healed from that at all. He hasn't actually like, I don't think this is what I was talking, you know, like when I, I talked about why I, I feel so strongly about working with you and Steve, you guys have tasted failure, right? You guys have tasted being down and out, no? Oh yeah, I mean, constantly. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you know what it means to rebound from that and you have humility in the face of those things. And I'm not claiming that New Cal Newport has never done that. I'm claiming I haven't seen that humility from him. And I've, I've bought four, three of his books. I've listened to him for hours and hours and hours on podcasts. And I just don't see it. I see that in his mind, there's this hierarchy. And what he wants to do is he wants to, in, um, you know, get other people to play that hierarchy and win it. And I just like, I fundamentally disagree with the hierarchy argument. I just, I think it's bullshit. I think it's useful. The strategies that he says are super useful, right? Being able to navigate the hierarchy and get what you want out of it. Yeah, I'll take that all. But like the, the existence of the hierarchy is fucking bullshit. So like, yeah, anyways.